Well, well. White run. If solitude be the ancient seat of the High Kings, the bastion of imperial authority, the great port that welcomes all into the North's frozen expanse, White run is the breadbasket, the heart of the feast, the trade capital of the region, the glittering jewel nestled cozily within Skyrim's ample bosoms. Thank you for that needlessly provocative prologue. Of course, if not me, then who? Certainly not any of you two, goody two-shoes. Ah, whatever. Come on, Lucien. Let's find the breast in. I am tired. I just want to nestle within some bosom. <laughs> by Eastmere, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking well, of bosoms, like quiet is. You were gone longer than usual. I got the That's one of those strong Nord women that we've all been hearing about. Well, we've seen quite a few strong women here. A lot of whom tried to kill us. Alright, finally. I'm ready to drop into a nice cozy bed. Holt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Um... Well, I am on official business. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Help against the dragon. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Thank you. All right. Well, that was easy. Ah. Oh. Alright, so, um, White Run, right? Well, it looks... We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. <sighs> I just can't fill an order it that looks size on my own. Like Why any other town. Pride of yours and ask your what were you expecting, Mort? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's well, cloak. Well, all the songs were the saying pearly white flagstones on the ground with gems for the taking and roofs thatched with gold well to be fair these these are quite ancient timbers beautiful walls are as old as well any building in Tamriel Oh, kind of annoyed that we came here at night. I wanted to see this place in the day, under the sun. Yet we come here, in the middle of the night. Everyone's asleep. Well, we can always just go to sleep ourselves. Come and check it out in the morning. Yes, what else is there? We'll get Lucian inside and have him bed down for a night and we can bed down as well. I hope there's room in the inn. Come on hey. in. Just you. stoke the no, fire. Please. Take a seat Hold and get the blood. cold out. One more song. What say you? Yeah? All right then. Now, Lucian. Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. Yes, um, well, seems to be a pretty roomy inn. I'll just leave you to find your own lodgings and 
we'll start again tomorrow morning, alright? I'll be right here. I'll be right here. Right. Is that an echo here? So, sing you a special song tonight, beautiful lass. Not now, I'm working. Ah, you're always working. Why else would I spend so much time here? Thank you, good patrons of the Bannered Mayor. The songbird. Thank you. Maybe he's the reason you're here well, all the time. Well, seems like a very rowdy place, but you just make sure at least it's cozy. Sadia, wake up, dear. Oh. Yes, Mum. Oh, John, darling. Oh, you, know you want a drink? Um, sure. What's on the menu? Uh, Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Is she on the menu? Oh, you tis. <laughs> ah. Um, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. They have. Well, apparently they don't have black briar mead. We'll have to go all the way to Riften for your bottles. Damn. Shouldn't have given it to that stupid Jarl. Alright, uh, I'll have an ale. Just one, please. And some of that apple dumpling. And uh, I guess I should buy some bread. Cabbage soup. You're not hungry at all, are you, Mort? And, uh... Ooh. Juniper berry custata. Taking that. And one of those. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Now, please, no more questions. No more questions? What if I want an additional... Order. Anyway, fine. It's where's my ale? There. Delicious. Hello, lady. Uh, I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Uh, yes. Do people really tend to do that, Tis? You know, like, blurt out their life story in front of total strangers? Well, I don't know, Mort. All I know is you. Uh, um, yes, uh, have there been any rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the Wind District? Wind it's District. part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Danica to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. Um, cut it down, grow another tree? Well, probably not if it's a relic. Uh, interesting. Anything else? People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Any other things to to know uh, here? The companions in Yorvasku? Oh, yes. They're recruiting new members from what I hear. Hmm. Probably not. All right. I wish she probably knows about We already asked about magic. All right. Um, that's all. Thank you. Need anything else? Just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. You're not getting a room. We have our room, Tis. You know that. What's this? What's this? Ah, just a piece of paper. Alright, Lucian looks like he's uh, settled in. And we should settle in ourselves. Alright. So, I take it you're not going to tell your new friend about our little relic here. No, not until I feel we can trust him. 
This is our little place after all. And who knows, he might turn out to be a scalawag or a ruffian. He might steal this. And it's something that I cannot lose. Well, he can't really steal it from you, as I said. It's bonded to you, Mort. All right, fine. What time is it? It's uh, past midnight. That's why I feel so worn out. All right. Good night, Tess. Oh, I'm bedding down. Foolish old woman. Oh. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Tired so don't student. talk to me Had about suffering. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. Good morning. So tell me, Bao, what's so good about it? Mm. Where are you oh, huh. well, good day. Well, seems like a very vibrant community. I've got a recipe for Why, I've got Sir, him in my cell. I'll be sure to bring some back He's to my prisoner. Make it Face quick, it and there might be a bowl of Your hot stupid stew son is dead. There seems These to be quite a bit of animosity between some of the you, people here. You best keep your mouth shut Which means this place on, is father. quite fun. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Morning. Hello there. All right, this must be that tree. Doesn't look so bad. I mean, it's uh, it's um, well, some people may say it's half dead. I say it's half alive. Your optimism amazes me, Mort. And uh, oh, that's the. Hall of the Companions. Your Vasca, I believe. Made from the ship or the boat that Iskamor himself rode here from Atmora. Oh, right, that's. That's why it reminds me of an upturned lavatory. Ah. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Hello there! Whoa! Talos statue! Well, I guess the Talmor haven't been here. Whiterun is an independent city. It's not affiliated with either the Rebellion, the Stormcloaks, or the Imperials necessarily. So, they allow it. They haven't let the Justicars tear it down. I'd wager half the people here would probably tear apart anyone who tries. Well, that's good, right? I mean, I'm not a particularly believing that Talos is a deity, but, well, proof is in the pudding. His shrines have power. So there must be something to the, well, to the belief that he's a divine. Trying to catch me. Well, that's something for the philosophers and the priests. All right. Whoa. This place smells old. Yeah, it looks old. But this wood is like... It's petrified. It's almost like stone. Amazing. Not quite as uh, grand as the white gold tower, but... Alright, can we just enter? I think so. Here we are. Dragon's Reach. Spectacular, isn't it? Let's go chat to the man in the big fancy chair. <laughs> you mean the Earl? Alright, um... 
Oh, this place actually looks bigger on the inside. Alright, um... We haven't been accosted by anyone, so I take it we can just approach. I mean, we are here on behalf of the people of Riverwood. That must be the Why Jarl. Please, you have to listen. Hello. Um. I only want to know what you we can't um, afford to act rap um, my lord. What's the please. meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruff is not I receiving visitors. Apologies. I came on behalf of the people of Riverwood, the, the Smith, Alvor. Riverwood is in danger of attack from the dragon. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. Yes, um, a dragon has destroyed Helgen, and uh, the people of Riverwood are afraid that it might strike them next. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Alright, thank you. A little sword happy, but I guess. Hello? So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, my lord. The dragon destroyed Helgen. And the last I saw it, it was, well, headed this way. By Ismir, Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, the Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. <laughs> Take this as a small token of my esteem. Uh, thank there you. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. Oh. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons all right uh, lead the way Jarl Barkov wizard this finally I think I like this Jarl he's nothing like that asshole in Falkir if you have something to say to the Jarl say it with your own tongue ooh a proper wizard study Baringar I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ha! Huh. That's exactly the thing that we've been doing ever since we got here. And what does this have to do with the dragons, if you don't mind me asking? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories Perhaps. of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? Ah, oh, this mage is a bit astute. Quite arrogant, but, well, nobody's perfect. <sighs> what do you need me to do then? 
I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. Stone a tablet? Dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Well, it just so happens I've already been to Bleak Falls Barrow. You mean this stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it? Yes. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. I'm just glad to get rid of the thing. It's kind of heavy. Anyway, what happens now? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. I'm beginning to realize that. Uh oh. It's the sword, Baden. Faringa, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. What? You should come too. A uh, dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Ha. Huh. Let's go. Yes, boss? I told you Let's I... Go. I told you I saw a dragon... <laughs> Uh, now I guess we'll all see again, eh? Come on, where did I go? I think... About the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Oh. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come oh, along. I would thank very you. much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. Well, I hope you are, because dragons are no joke. Things are happening a bit fast. Uh, I must admit I'm a little anxious about the idea of confronting a live dragon in battle. I mean, it's exciting. I'll get to see something hardly anyone else in Tamriel has ever laid eyes on. But equally, it might roast us alive. Ah. <sighs> Don't worry, Lucian. Just stay close to me and we'll be fine. I... I know where to hide. <laughs> if you say so, boss. Yes. I hope you're right. Just stay behind me, all right? I want us to get through this alive. All right, then. And speaking of alive, if we're going to fight a dragon, I'd as well grab some new spells. Ah, uh, Mr. Fyngar. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Well, if you want to come with us, you're very welcome, but I guess the Jarl is conveniently asked you not to. Um, let me see your wares, please. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. What gave us away? The robe? The hood? Ah. Quiet this. Alright. 
alarm, Atronic Mark, Zur Reconstruction. Well, I don't think we have any conjured minions that we need to repair. Backlash, Bone Spirit, Bound Weapons. But I don't plan on getting in close to any dragon, or any enemy for that matter. Candlelight. Well, we have a torch, but I guess this isn't a priority right now. Clairva Ooh! This is a conjuration spell. A summon. Yes, Avenging Wraith. This is pretty powerful. We should get it, Mort. Alright, it's a bit pricey, but, well, we can afford it. Cat Totem. Dead Eye Captain. Get that as well. It should be quite useful. What's this about? It has something to do with storing bodies. Ah, <sighs> whatever, alright. Damora Curl. Familiar Flame Atronach. That's another basic summoning spell, the Flame Atronach. Not very strong, but at least it's a ranged attacker. Alright. Let me get some destruction spells for myself. Crackle. Ah, I like this. Creeping cold. I'll take this. What else? Fast healing. I'll take this as well. Firebolt. Alright, this might be the last spell that we can buy. I'll check. Thin ice. Frost and frost. Legionary flame. Inferno. No. Lightning bolt. I like lightning bolt. Take that instead. Alright, let's leave ourselves some gold. If we actually survive, we still need money. Thank you. You know, if you've got the aptitude, <clears throat> you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Ugh. College. Alright. Let's learn our new spells. I guess it would be a bit um, bad form to practice the magic here, eh? Come on. Where's that Dunmer woman? I think she went on ahead. Um, hello? Cause trouble in Whiterun, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. I just wanted to ask where your comrade is. Anyway, whatever. Might have gone ahead. All right, let's hurry. We are but magnets, riding the I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're oh willing boy, to starve your money. wife and daughter? To reclaim I, some rusty old stuff. I don't have any money. You, you better give me five one, septums right now. now or Lady Mara. No. Please, please protect us. I really you don't have, have any money, Bray. I'll life. give you ten septums tomorrow. So many so things happening all around us. Ah. I think I like this town. Tis. Please make sure we get back here. Alright, Mort. Alright. 
Just remember, Mort. We've been through quite a lot since arriving in Skyrim. We're not the defenseless wimp you were when we first came. Thank you, I think. You think I was a wimp? Well, you were. Well, a wimp that could throw fire, but still a wimp. But as I said, you've gotten so much stronger. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Let's practice the spell a bit. So, creeping cold. Oh, it's kind of like frostbite. Bit more narrow. Alright. I gather it's more powerful. Then crackle. That seems kind of weak. It's... Its full effects should be seen when you actually have a target mod. Um, lightning bolt. Alright. It's a bit tiring, but... Alright. And our summons... Flame Atronach. Whoa. She's... She looks awesome. And she's all ours, Mort. All right. Please fight well, my lady. Um, Lucian? Yes? I want to give you some stuff. Sure, let's trade. Well, we were given this. Uh, I'm not going to use this. Might as well use it. All right. Um, Hot stuff over here, and I have your back. You actually look pretty fierce now. All right, come on. Perhaps you should have worn that armor yourself, Mort. Ah, it'll just wear me down. So, ouch. You said the Western Watchtower. I remember passing it on our way here. Alright. That's them, I guess. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Shut out, look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. <sighs> so we have four people, well, five, including Irelith. Well, that's the guard. They seem quite determined. Helgen had a full garrison. That was like 20, 30 people at least. Imperial troops. What are we going to do with this handful? Save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. What the? Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, well, well. Another man. Um. Avenging race. Oh, that was tiring. Alright, alright. What did we use? Lightning bolt. That's it. We'll bring that bastard down. This, this is real. I'm actually fighting a dragon. This is real, not Whoa. a nightmare. This is real, not a nightmare. Whoa! 
just like that other one. It's not the same one. It's not the black one. Which is actually... Actually a bit good and a bit bad. A bit good and a bit bad. Well, it means that we might have a chance if this thing isn't as strong as that other one. The bad news is it means there's more of them. with my spells. Whoa. We'll Alright, she's pretty tough. Whoa. Are you hearing this? The thing is talking. Ow, ow, ow! Yeah. Damn it. Ow. Alright, alright. Potions, please, potions. Vigor. Ah, we're running out of. It's our last magical potion. Alright, um, How about we try Crackle? You're already dead. Whoa! Where's Lucian? Whoa! we hit it? Not sure we hit it. Not sure if the spell actually affects it. Let's have a flame after that. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was close. Alright. Where's the stuff? Sorry, but we're going to need it. Uh oh. 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 It's after us! Die, damn it! No! Did you hear that? Lucian, you're alive! Glad to see it. What the hell? going on? What the? Oof! Oh. Sorry. Um. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragon what? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, apparently... Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. 
You must be Dragonborn. Well, I've always been able to shout, but that's right. My grandfather used I don't to think that was just shouting. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Lucian, you all right? Back? Um, that thing. With the lights and the burning. Does that happen often? No, it's only happened now. No, I don't suppose it would have done. Not a lot of dragons around. Traditionally, ah. anyway. Listen, I hate to speculate, but do you think it could have been... a soul? Actually, that just might be it. I think this Lucian is quite astute. Quietus. Yes, um, yes, that's exactly what I think it was. And you absorbed it? Remarkable. Truly remarkable. <laughs> as was the beast, as terrifying as it may have been. It seems an awful waste just leaving it lying there like that. <laughs> There's so much to be learned. How does it fly, for instance? A creature of that size, with that wingspan, it defies all known laws of motion. Perhaps there might be a clue in its bone structure. I don't know. Do you think you could get me a sample? Give you a hundred septums for it? Well, all right. I'll grab you one straight away. <laughs> Oh, thank you. That really would help my research. All right, um... Uh, a moment, Lucian. Where's Irelith? I don't think she died. Oh, I, I, that one was tough as hell. Anyway, um... Guess we could get some of these bones. All right. Oh, whoa! That that took a while. Uh, Lucian, I've been meaning to ask you something. Got a moment? Uh, sure. What is it? Look, I know I'm not very good at practical things. You know, combat. I rely on you to win our battles, and You're actually I quite competent. So I suppose I was wondering, do you think you could train me? Train you? Um. Uh, whatever, I mean, uh, I could learn something myself by training you. Fantastic! Can't wait to get cracking. Ha, huh. alright. Anyway, uh, here's your dragon sample. You have? Thank you so much! An actual dragon bone. Well, I'll get a lot out of studying this. There's a pile of it here's over your gold, there. my friend. Thank you. Let's get back to it. Yes, I guess we should head back to White Run and uh, tell the Jarl the good news that his city won't be burning anytime soon. Unless another dragon attacked the city while we were away. Oh, don't worry, Mort. If that happened, we'd be seeing it. Hell. All of Skyrim would be seeing it. Ah, yes. Well, there's the city. Hello? Need something? Uh, no. Moron? I mean... Well, that is his name. Yeah, more traveling merchants. It's good to see that at least the wheels of commerce still turn, despite the civil war and the dragon invasion, eh? Alright. Is it me or the city is extra dark right now? Whoa! This city is put up with a raging dragon, two Daedric invasions, the Alliance War, an army of frost trolls and a witch queen. And it's still here! Huh. Did you hear that, Tis? Hear what? <laughs> I'm joking. Yes, of course I heard it. 
I distinctly heard something <laughs> like Dova Keen. Yes. What does it mean? It means Dova Keen. Oh, you're. Alright. Hello. Huh. That was one of the companions, I believe. Anyway. Hello. Good. Hello. You're finally here. The yarl has been waiting for you. Huh. Alright. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. What? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. Ah, uh, alright. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yes. The Watchtower was destroyed. It... Well, we killed the dragon, somehow. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Yes, um... When the dragon died... I absorbed some kind of power from it. Its soul, actually. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Who? Oh. Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Well, that explains that sound we heard. And what do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. Dragonborn. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. You have uh, something yourself. on your lip. What does any of oh. this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. <coughs> Nord nonsense? Why, huh. you puffed up ignorant. These are <laughs> our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. High Hrothgar? It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? Huh. High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name oh. you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Thane. I assign you Lydia. As a personal house carl Who? and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office what i'll also notify my guards of your new title when wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now would we huh. we are honored to have you as thane of our city dragonborn back to business proventus we still have a city to defend yes my lord huh Things are happening so fast. What? Um, I'm... I'm a Thane now? I believe it's some sort of... rank or... nobility. We're a noble now? 
Huh. Yes? Perhaps you'd better start calling me my lord. <laughs> I'm just joking. Come on. Let's get back to it. Yes, um... Perhaps it's where this thing now. Do we have a room here? I doubt it. Well, I guess we go to the inn again. Apparently we can buy property here now. Yes, when we have the funds. Let's buy a palace. Huh. Well, um... The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Ah, ah. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, yes, hello. Uh, you must be Lydia. My house, Carl? Um... Uh, well, if you don't mind my asking, uh, what is a thane exactly? What does it mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. A hero. The title of thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh. That would be very useful. Especially when we're animating bodies. Yes! And uh, what does a house carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. Oh. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Oh. Uh, we have a house carl. We have a knight. Do I have to pay you or something? And, uh, well. All right, um, let's go then, uh, my house Carl, uh, Lydia, um, let's go. Lead the way. Um, when we came here we were alone and now uh, I have a small army. I'm not really an army type of guy, but, um, well, um, I think I can get used to it. <laughs> yeah.